The Invasion of the Panama Canal Codename Operation Just Cause The Man Who Put It Into Action Encounters with a Crime Lord To tell this story correctly, we have to go back to June of 1997, years after the invasion had already occurred. It begins with a screenwriter named Gary DeVore. DeVore was said to have been working on a script that talked about the real reasons behind the invasion. However, on the way to deliver his script, he went missing. His body would not be found until over a year later. Here is where things get strange. When DeVore was found, he was in his car that had been driven into a California aqueduct. DeVore, dead. His script, gone. Both of DeVore's hands had been removed from his body, but the hands that were found in the car and run under autopsy revealed to be 200 years old. This bizarre series of events made us wonder, what was it that Gary DeVore knew about the invasion? Before we figured out what DeVore knew, we had to figure out what the general public was told about the situation. The invasion, Operation Just Cause, the invasion into Nicaragua was um, explained to the American public as a uh, continuation of the war on drugs, that somehow Noriega was involved in um, the, drug, the drug trade, yeah. and that we were going to put an end to this kind of corrupt practice that was harming America, and that's kind of how it was sold to the American public. So what all was Noriega responsible for? After Noriega was taken out of power from the invasion, he was charged with racketeering, money laundering, and major cocaine trafficking and distribution. Though our two presidents during the time, Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush, knew about the cocaine trafficking, they tolerated it because of how useful he was strategically. And part of that, um, Reagan administration got involved in some arms deals. Interestingly enough, it was during Bush's presidency that the invasion was sanctioned. And also, it was not long before the invasion occurred that arms dealing through the Panama Canal to America was ended. It was money for weapons. We've done a lot of things politically that we either deny or don't ever talk about. There's a lot of motives when it comes to our military action, when it comes to us intervening. The history of also getting involved with we're a force for the economy. So what were President Bush's reasons for invading? Was it really for financial reasons? Maybe because the end of the arms dealing? Who are um, dealings with Central America haven't been on the um, the forefront of honesty with the American people. However, there is a third theory, and some believe it's what Gary DeVore thought was happening. The theory states that Noriega was luring American politicians into doing questionable things and then using it as blackmail. The real reason, though? It's hard to say. Maybe had we heard what Gary DeVore believed, we would have a better understanding of it. He was one of our best chances at learning the truth, being a filmmaker who worked with both the CIA and the Panamanian government. But now he's gone, and now we don't even know how to interpret his death. But there are theories. The symbolism of cutting off the hands has been involved with the drug trade, and also has been involved in Central American revolutions, uh, che Guevara, the, uh, the communist that was alongside, basically the lieutenant of Fidel Castro, uh, after leaving Cuba, tried to um, encourage other communist uprisings around South and, and Central America, and he ended up murdered with his hands cut off as well. Um, I believe Pablo Escobar had his hands chopped off as a me means to properly identify. So oftentimes, if someone has a, has a bounty put on your head, you'll chop off their hands as a way to prove positive that that person was killed. So my thought there is, is someone probably put a hit out on, on our screenwriter 
and to prove that that was his identity, mm -hmm. they cut off their hands. That's definitely piqued my interest. I got, what about the 200 year old hands? I don't know what the symbolism with 200 year old hands. I'd, I'd be interested whose hands they were. That yeah. might have some symbolism. You might also, you might also want to know, um, it smacks a bit of a setup as well. If you're truly skeptical, you could also take the idea that this apparently uh, vendetta-driven vendetta assassination, right? It looks like it's some drug beef. It looks like it could be a Central American beef, something like that. It could be a setup to make us think that the origins are in Central America or to make us think that the origins are something that have to do with the drug underworld. Um, don't forget, George Herbert Walker Bush was the head of the CIA. And it does sound, you know, if, if, you were, if you were skeptical of that sort of spy versus spy action, this would fit along with it. I don't know if I give it any credence, but it would. Though the original motivations are questionable, there is no doubt that the result of taking this man from power helped South America. And hopefully we will always continue to believe that, that America can achieve a common good. I still think that America is a force for good, but we have a history of also getting involved with more force for the economy, and usually financial motives are behind a lot of our action, for good or for ill. Though in the case with Noriega, the truth is still up for debate. <laughs>